Alrighty guys, Douglas County Digger back here. As you can see, I'm out here walking this creek. Runs along some railroad tracks up there and uh, we're in town here. There's a house right up there, but walk along trying to see if I can see anything sticking out of the bank. And I've got some insulators and stuff, but nothing too, nothing too great yet. But I just saw a little brown bottle sticking out of the bank there. It was in that hole right there. I don't know if you guys can see that, but in the sun here. I've cleaned it off in the water a little bit, but it's a nice cork top, guys. Nice old bottle. I haven't checked really if it says anything on the bottom, but doesn't look like it, guys. Just looks like a, you know, kind of a generic medicine bottle, but definitely 1800s, late 1800s, early 1900s, so get back with you guys when we find something else. Alright, guys, Hopefully. still out here on the creek. This is just where I was just a second ago where I found that little, uh, brown amber uh, medicine bottle but I'm not sure the exact date on this it's just a piece of something but it's one of those insulators from the power lines from back in the day like I said I got railroad tracks running right up there and down that way is the old uh, old power company for the town here but that patent date on here is May 2nd 18 1898 I think so that's probably pretty old it's too bad that wasn't oops, wasn't complete and I dropped it so Good thing it wasn't complete. So, anyways, guys. Oh, there's one other thing I wanted to show you. Sitting right next to that, there was a nice, nice little cork top, like a whiskey cork top or something. So that's probably 20s to 30s. So, I'm in a good spot here. I'm not sure. I got to keep walking down and scoping out the bank. So, I think I got a piece of an old mason sitting over there, and I might get back with you guys if it's pretty good. So, stay tuned. Alrighty, guys. I'm all finished up for the day. It was just kind of a little bit of a scouting, kind of exploring type day, looking for new areas, walking creeks and stuff. It's about 60 degrees today, so not a better day really to do it in January. So, show you guys what we got. I know you guys have seen this already. This is the probably the nicest thing of the day, definitely. Nice brown amber. You can't see it too well there, but amber cork top bottle there. It's nice. And then this is one of those insulators I was talking about, the green thing earlier in the video. I got about five or six of these clear ones. They're a little more common, but they're still nice. I didn't get them on film because I just got there and found a little pile of them. So, But like I said, this one ain't as old. But you can see the Hemingway Insulator Company. Then I found this little, I'm not sure if it's a shot glass or just a cup or what it is, but it's a bicentennial thing for some American freedom train i don't know i found that by the tracks so thought that was kind of cool so yeah, i found this in the in the creek there can't read it it's a shame it's in bad shape but on this side you can kind of read that it says hendrix i think it's an old soda bottle from the 40s or 50s i'll have to do a little research on it whenever i get home and then i found a couple insulators from mason jars and stuff but I know it's a short video. I wish I could have got some more on film here, but I at least kind of scouted around and found a new spot and new creek to walk and stuff like that. So hope you guys enjoyed the finds here. I know it wasn't too special, but uh, stay tuned for some more upcoming stuff. As soon as this weather breaks, we'll get out there and hit it hard. More metal detecting, gravity digging, creek walking, bottle hunting, all that kind of stuff. So just stay tuned and like and subscribe and be sure you can see the next one. So I'm Douglas County Digger. I'm out.